we will evaluate the inverse cosecant function values using the reference triangles shown here below. Where each inverse cosecant function value is equal to an angle on the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, where the angle does not equal 0 radians, which means in standard position, the angle is from 0 to pi over 2 radians, not including 0 radians, or from 0 to negative pi over 2 radians, again, not including 0 radians. And since cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta, the cosecant function values are positive in the first quadrant and negative in the fourth quadrant. Let's evaluate inverse cosecant of negative 2, which is equal to the angle in this interval that has a cosecant function value of negative 2. And since we are using reference triangles to evaluate this, using right triangle trigonometry, cosecant theta is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side. So it may be helpful to rewrite negative 2 as a fraction with the denominator of 1. This is equal to inverse cosecant of negative 2 over 1. And now we ignore the negative sign for a moment. If we look at the reference triangles, notice how the cosecant of 3 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, again is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, which is 2 divided by 1, which is equal to 2. But we are looking for the angle that has a cosecant function value of negative 2, not positive 2. And therefore, 3 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, is not the angle we are looking for, but this is the reference angle we sketch in the fourth quadrant to determine the angle we are looking for. So the next step is to sketch a reference angle of 3 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, in the fourth quadrant. And therefore, this is the terminal side of the angle we are looking for, where the reference angle, this angle here, is 3 degrees, or radians, pi over 6 radians. And now let's sketch the reference triangle. Notice how we have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. But we are in the fourth quadrant, where x is positive and y is negative. And therefore, the opposite side is negative 1. The hypotenuse is positive 2. And this longer leg is positive square root 3. Notice how this reference triangle does give a cosecant function value of 2 divided by negative 1, which is negative 2. And therefore, the angle we are looking for has its initial side along the positive x-axis, terminal side along this ray, and for the angle to be in the closed interval from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, we need to rotate clockwise. And therefore, the angle is negative 3 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over 6, or negative 1 sixth pi radians. Next, we have inverse cosecant of square root 2, which again, if it's helpful, we can rewrite as inverse cosecant of square root 2 over 1. Going back to the reference triangles, looking at the 45, 45, 90 reference triangle, notice the cosecant of 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians, is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, which is square root 2 divided by 1. And therefore, the angle we are looking for is 45 degrees, or pi over 4 radians. Because the given cosecant function value is positive, we don't have to sketch the reference triangle on the coordinate plane, because we know it's in the first quadrant. But let's go ahead and show it anyway. Again, we know this is equal to 45 degrees, 1 radians, pi over 4, 1 fourth pi radians. If we did want to sketch the reference triangle on the coordinate plane, because the cosecant function value is positive, we would sketch a 45 degree reference angle in the first quadrant, and therefore this is the terminal side of the angle we are looking for. For the reference angle, this angle here is 45 degrees, or pi divided by 4 radians. And now we would sketch the reference triangle. Because we are in the first quadrant where both x and y are positive, both legs are positive 1, and the hypotenuse is square root 2. Notice how this reference triangle does give a cosecant function value of square root 2 divided by 1. And therefore, the angle we are looking for has its initial side along the positive x-axis, its terminal side along this ray. And therefore, the angle we are looking for is this angle, which is the same as the reference angle, 45 degrees, or in radians, 1 fourth pi radians. Next, we have inverse cosecant of negative 2 square root 3 divided by 3. Because of the square root 3, we should be able to recognize we will be using the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. But to make it easier to recognize the cosecant function value, we may want to rationalize the numerator. So let's go ahead and do that. If we have negative 2 square root 3 divided by 3 to rationalize the numerator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3. 
Simplifying, this gives us negative two times three, which is negative six, divided by three, square root of three. We notice three and six share a common factor of three. That's one three and three, and two threes and six. This simplifies to negative two divided by square root of three, which means you can rewrite this as inverse cosecant of negative two divided by square root of three. Now going back to the 30, 60, 90 reference triangle, Notice the cosecant of 60 degrees, or pi divided by three radians, is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to the opposite side, which is positive two divided by square root of three. And since we are looking for the angle that has a cosecant function value of negative two divided by square root of three, the angle we are looking for is not 60 degrees, or pi divided by three radians, but this does give us the reference angle we can sketch in the fourth quadrant to determine the angle we are looking for. So we now sketch a 60 degree, or pi divided by three radian reference angle in the fourth quadrant. And therefore this is the terminal side of the angle, where this reference angle is 60 degrees, or pi divided by three radians. And now let's sketch the reference triangle. Because we are in the fourth quadrant where x is positive and y is negative, the opposite side is negative square root of three, the short leg is positive one, and the hypotenuse is positive two. Notice how this reference triangle does give a cosecant function value of two divided by negative square root of three, which is the cosecant function value that we are given. And therefore the angle we are looking for has its initial side along the positive x-axis, as always, the terminal side along this ray, and therefore we rotate clockwise, and the angle is negative 60 degrees or in radians, negative pi over three, or negative one-third pi radians. The last expression is inverse cosecant of negative one, which we will not be able to evaluate using the reference triangles. We will have to use the unit circle or our knowledge of the graph of the cosecant function. Since cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta, and on the unit circle of sine theta is equal to y, on the unit circle, cosecant theta is equal to one divided by y. So using the unit circle, we need to find the point in this interval where one divided by y is equal to negative one. One divided by y is equal to negative one when y is equal to negative one. In this interval, y is equal to negative one at this point here on the unit circle with the ordered pair zero comma negative one. One divided by y is one divided by negative one, which is negative one, and therefore the angle we are looking for must have its terminal side along this ray, its initial side along the positive x-axis, and therefore rotating clockwise, the angle is negative 90 degrees, or in radians, negative pi over two, or negative one-half pi radians. Another way to determine this angle is to analyze the graph of the cosecant function, but only over the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So here's the graph of the cosecant function. The interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two is highlighted in yellow. And notice how the cosecant function value is negative one at this point here, where the angle is negative pi over two, or negative 90 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.